So a few years ago, uh, a fellow who had spent some time in the Kanukus sent me an image of this species and wasn't sure what it was. And I was able to collect two of them when I was there. It's called the Myers thin-toed frog, and it's not a particularly uncommon species. But before this, and the images that my friend had sent me, this is actually officially the first known record of this species for this country. And again, that was just on a, a short few day trip into the Kanukus. Uh, there was another species of frog that I'm still working with in the lab that I'm confident is a new species altogether to science, again, found in the Kanukus. Um, and that was only on a short five day trip. So, and not even to a remote region within the mountain range. Typically with amphibians, as well as reptiles, but more specifically amphibians, as you get to higher elevations, you're more likely to have new or even endemic species. They have much different life history traits that uh, affect their survival and dispersal, their, their need for constantly having moist skin. So they're able to specialize differently uh, than reptiles or birds or something else. Um, so. I, I personally would not be surprised if within the Kanukus alone, there's still probably another five or six undescribed species of just frog alone waiting to be found. <laughs>